everybody, welcome back to another awesome day, another awesome vlog. I'm Lisa, behind the camera is Bill, and together we are Bill Lisa. Today we are headed into California Adventure. It is always so important to find the right place to eat when you come to Disneyland or Disney California Adventure. And today we are going to talk about the best place to eat in each land in Disney California Adventure. Let's head inside. Our first stop is right off of Buena Vista Street. If you are in the area of Buena Vista Street and looking for a place to eat, you should head into the Fiddler, Pfeiffer, and Practical Cafe. Not only do they serve breakfast, lunch, and dinner, they have delicious treats for breakfast, wonderful sandwiches and salads for lunch and dinner, but there's also something very special in here, and that is a Starbucks. Starbucks actually serves their coffee here all day long, so if you're looking for a little pick-me-up, of course you can head in here for that as well. This is a charming cafe filled with delicious baked goods and a really nice cool place to sit and a nice atmosphere as well. You can also find a lot of amazing pictures and information about the dynamic trio, the Silver Lake Sisters. That is Dolly, Dottie, and Ethel. They are three amazing sisters that came together as a singing group, and they are on display here in this restaurant. Carthay Circle Restaurant, and this is actually just an honorable mention off of Buena Vista Street. It's recommended that you get a reservation if you want to eat here, but this is a really fantastic place to eat. The prices are expensive. They range from anywhere from $35 to $60 per plate here, but it is totally worth it. It is a romantic retro setting, and here, food is the star. Next on the list is the Smoke Jumpers Grill. If you find yourself in Grizzly Peak before your hunger blazes out of control, you should come in here and pick up a burger. Now, I will tell you that a lot of the items on their menu are spicy. So if you don't want your burger to be spicy, you need to specify that to them and they will make sure to take care of it for you. But they have burgers with chili, they have hot dogs with chili, they even have a bar over here that you can add on your chili dog, whatever you want. You can add onions and any other topping that you can think of they have available here. And this place is really themed to Grizzly Peak. So this is a place that we would recommend that you eat if you find yourself starving and looking for something to eat in this area. They have toppings galore over here, so you can pick and specially make anything you want and add your toppings yourself. in Paradise Gardens. Our recommendation for eating is the Paradise Garden Grill. It is authentic Mexican and vegetarian food and everything here is absolutely delicious. This is absolutely where we would eat if we were out in this area. If you are looking for the number one item on the menu though, it is the tamales. Tamales here are fresh and wonderful and you won't be disappointed. If you do find yourself in Paradise Gardens and Mexican food just doesn't sound like what you're looking for, we do have an honorable mention and it is Boardwalk Pizza and Pasta. They have such delicious Italian food here. Standing inside, it just smells scrumptious. They have pizza and pasta galore and you won't be disappointed if you choose to eat here. If you find 
yourself on Pixar Pier, our recommendation is the Lamplight Lounge. While reservations are not required, they are recommended, especially during busy times. You may have an extremely long wait, or they may tell you that there are no tables available because all of the reservations have filled all of their seats. This place, though, has delicious dining experiences. All of the seats have a panoramic view of the bay. Their prices range from $20 to $25 per plate, and you can get anything from a salad to a burger to salmon. They have so many things to choose from, but their views are what bring the people here. If you find yourself on the Pacific Wharf, there are plenty of places to choose from to eat here. And everything is wonderful, but my choice is the Lucky Fortune Cookery. So if you find yourself over here, I'd like to tell you to walk this way and pick yourself up some authentic Asian food. They make everything here fresh, and it comes with fresh steamed rice and grilled vegetables. They have so many wonderful things to choose from. They cook chicken a number of different ways and you are going to love it. So head on over, pick up your fortune and get yourself some delicious food. In the Golden Vine Winery section, our recommendation to you is Wine Country Trattoria. The food here is amazing and of course they have delicious wines to choose from, but one of the things that's really great about this restaurant is it comes with packages depending on what's going on in the park. So during the Oogie Boogie Bash, you can get a package that runs approximately $50, which will include a three course meal and prime seating for the parade during that event. During other times of the year though, they offer a very similar package with similar pricing for World of Color. And you will get wonderful, wonderful seats for the World of Color show on the day that you are here. Otherwise, if you're not purchasing a package, their plates run anywhere from $19 to $25. And I highly recommend that you stop by here if you're looking for a place to eat in this area. Make sure though, if you wanna come up to this wonderful seating where we are upstairs with the beautiful views, that you make a reservation in advance. And this restaurant is only open for lunch and dinner. If you're in Hollywood Land and looking for a place to eat, 
we recommend Award Wieners. Here you can get gourmet street style hot dogs and sausages that are really, really delicious. They run from nine to $11. There are multiple options and choices and different toppings as well. They even have a vegetarian option if you can believe that. This place though has the most amazing hot dog you will ever try. So if you're in Hollywood land and looking for something to eat, this is what we suggest. All right, everybody, we're gonna end our video here. Again, I'm Lisa, behind the camera is Bill, and together we are Belisa. I hope you enjoyed the best places to eat, in our opinion, of course, in Disney California Adventure in every land. There are so many wonderful places to eat. We've eaten here enough that we definitely have our favorites, and that is exactly what we've just shared with you. Don't forget to smash the thumbs up button. Don't forget to subscribe, and thank you so much for watching our video. Bye.